When you are drawing or diagramming, it can be helpful to dump all your ideas out onto the page and work with them from there. But if you fill that glyphy editor with too many shapes, selecting and rearranging all those shapes can be really tricky. That's where layers comes in. Using layers in your glyphy diagram will make it easier to manage a drawing with lots of shapes, try a few different ways of organizing your work, or even lock down the parts of your drawing that you don't want to move or change. In this diagram, I opened Glyphy's wireframing shapes and dragged out a browser window. Let's start from scratch so you can see how this works. I'll go to File, New. And from the Create a New Diagram window, I'm going to click Wireframe. This preloads all my wireframe shapes in the left panel. I'll click Containers and drag out this browser window. If I'm making a wireframe, I'm going to be adding a lot of content on top of this, so layers will help keep me organized. You can open the Layers panel by clicking on this icon in the toolbar. As you can see, this shape got added to the base layer, Layer 0, by default. So if you drew a whole flowchart or wireframe and then open this panel after you were done, everything would sit here on this Layer 0. For that reason, I think it's really helpful to set up multiple layers and leave this panel open if I know I'm going to be drawing something that's a little more complicated or might include multiple versions. You can double click to edit the name of the layer, so I'm going to name this one Browser. I want to make sure this stays put the whole time I'm diagramming, so I'm also going to lock this layer. This lock icon will make sure that you can't move or edit the shapes on that layer anymore. Now I'm going to click the plus button to add a new layer and I will call this one Design. This is where I'm going to build out my wireframe. We'll speed this part up to save you time, but this is about two or three minutes of diagramming. All I'm doing is using drag and drop shapes and text to create this design. We have tons of other video resources if you need help with these features. All right, so I dragged out some elements to create this wireframe design. Now that I'm looking at it, I think I might want to make some changes or try things a little bit differently. That's no problem. In the layer panel, I'm going to copy this layer with this duplicate layer button. And I'm going to rename each of these. So design one and design two. To create this new version, now I'm going to toggle off the visibility on design one and lock it so that I don't actually edit it. And then I'm going to work here in Design 2 and rearrange some of the elements that I put on my page. Awesome. So here I was able to create a new version. And now when I share with my coworkers, I can toggle through these different versions and ideas and easily show them both. Obviously, I could keep repeating this and creating more layers and more versions by continuing to duplicate and lock these layers. Just remember to clearly rename your diagrams, lock them to prevent any accidental editing, and use that visibility tool to keep your diagrams free of visual clutter. These are all great tricks when you're trying to redraw a process flowchart, play around with a floor plan or a layout, or come up with multiple solutions that fit within the same framework. We hope using layers makes your diagrams even better.